In this video, we're going to get you up and running using Q in no time. When Q starts, it opens a blank project. The first thing you need to do is to add some data. To do so, simply come up to File, Datasets, Add to Project from File. Q can add a variety of different file types. The best file types are those that contain metadata, such as spss.sav files and SSS files. In this example, we're going to choose a file from a tracking study on colas. As Q imports the data, it clearly sets it up for you. It groups variables together into sets, which Q calls questions. We recommend you let Q do this, as you can always undo this later. Along the top, we have a series of menus. These are here to help you manipulate your data and to use more advanced techniques. You can also see across the top here a toolbar which has various helpful functions. And importantly, this search box here will help with anything. Just type in what you want to know. If you get stuck, just email us. Our email can be found here under the Help menu. Now making a table is as simple as specifying a question in the blue and brown drop-down menus. Let's select this question for the blue question, Brand Attitude. That makes a summary table with Brand Attitude as the primary question. This is reflected in the report on the left. The report helps you navigate your analysis. Selecting an object in the report displays that information in the output area. If you want to create a new table, the easiest way is to use the Duplicate button. That creates a copy of the table in the report. You can then change the primary question for a table in the blue drop-down menu. Left click and dragging allows you to move things around. You can also merge categories simply by dragging one on top of the other. Right clicking is your best friend using Q. It opens up a context menu that gives you many options. For example, you can now rename this category top two box. Then if you want to sort the table by top two box, all you need to do is right click and select sort by. You can also use right click to change the statistics shown. In this case, let's choose N, the count. That then puts the count into the cells. You can turn a summary table into a cross tab easily using the brown drop down menu. So to cross tab preferred color by age, simply put age in the brown drop down menu. Typing AG does a quick search to narrow your options. And again, the report updates to reflect what's in the table. You've probably noticed at this point the red and blue font with arrows. This formatting indicates what is statistically higher or lower in the table. By default, the significance level is set at 0.05. You can change that in the table options available under the edit menu. You can also change the type of indicators shown by coming to the show significance as drop down menu. For instance, you can choose to show pairwise comparison letters if you prefer. A useful feature in the help toolbar is interpret this table. That helps by giving you a quick summary of what are the most significant effects detected in the table. Q makes it very easy to create banners and lots of tables. To create a banner, you simply go to Create, Banner, Drag and Drop. Just drag the questions you'd like in the banner to the right and arrange. You can also drag questions on top of each other to nest them. The preview here shows the nesting of age and gender. You can also give your banner a name at the top. Your banner then appears as a question that you can cross tab with. The Create menu allows you to create lots of tables at once. The easiest way is to go to Create, Tables, Lots of Cross Tabs. You then select all the questions you'd like to put in the rows. In this example, let's choose Preferred Cola, Brand Attitude and Exercise Frequency. Then select all the questions you'd like to cross tab by such as the banner, as well as the interview date and income. Q then generates all those tables at once. Exporting to Microsoft Office is just a couple of clicks away. Note, by using the Control or Shift key, you can select multiple tables at once. Then, simply push the Export to Excel button in the toolbar. If you want them as tables, just pick the format to be to Excel, and then select a table style that you like. Under the Advanced option are several useful features, including a table of contents. Again, when you're ready, just push OK. The tables are then in Excel, including the table of contents. 
Exporting to PowerPoint is also simple. Simply select the tables you want and then click Export to PowerPoint. You can actually put these directly as a chart in PowerPoint by selecting To PowerPoint as an Excel chart. If you have a PowerPoint presentation open already, you can choose that as the template. Q then pops these directly into PowerPoint as new charts. These charts are completely editable. You can cut and paste these charts as you like around your PowerPoint report. Later, you can automatically update these from Q. When you update your dataset in a Q project, it also updates your entire analysis. In this example tracking study, we have data that runs from January to September. You can see the three quarters here with the base size of 200 in each quarter, noting a total base size of 600 in the footer. To update the dataset to include the latest quarter, just go to File, Datasets, Update, and then choose the file you wish to update. Here, let's choose the revised data file, January to December. You can now see it's reading from a different dataset. The project therefore has increased from a total base of 600 to 800. If you select the same tables as before, and again push Export to PowerPoint, it will give you the option to update those charts automatically. Q also has some great built-in charts and clever visualizations that are just a click away. Under the Create menu, go to Charts. For example, the grid of bars plot is a great way to visualize a crosstab. There's also the ranking plot, another great way to visualize your data. Under the Create Charts menu, there are also a selection of visualizations. Let's select this visualization, the palm tree plot. You just need to connect a table to the visualization using this drop down on the right and then push calculate. We recommend selecting automatic so the visualization will update automatically if any changes are made to the data or options. Design options for charts and visualizations can be adjusted in the panel on the right. Just like tables, charts and visualizations can also be exported to Microsoft Office, noting they will be inserted as an image. If exported already, it can update to replace the existing image in PowerPoint. Often researchers like to filter their analysis and apply weights. If you want to create a simple filter of males under 30, simply right click on this cell in the table and come down to Create Filter. You can then apply this filter to any table or chart. Just come down to the bottom where it says Filter and the filter will appear in the drop down menu. When it highlights as green, the filter is on. Much like filters, available weights also appear in a drop down menu at the bottom. You can apply filters and weights to multiple items simply by selecting multiple items in the report. Filters and weights will stay on tables and charts until you take them off. When Q imports your data and sets it up automatically, it assigns a question type to each of your variables. This determines how the question will be interpreted, for example, either categorically or numerically, or as a multivariable question or not. Right-clicking allows you to change the question type so you can generate different outputs. You just select the question name at the bottom of the context menu and go to Restructure Data. In this example, let's turn this into a numeric question to see the averages. It's now showing me the scores on the love to hate scale rather than the percentages. You can transform it again into a top two box simply by following the same path and then choosing pick any. You then just select the categories you'd like to count in the proportion. The question now shows the top two box, that is, love and like. More data manipulation options are available on the next tab over, which is called the Variables and Questions tab. Under the Create menu, you can see a collection of advanced analyses. Q has full R integration, allowing you to access the power of R packages to perform many advanced analyses and create your own R variables and outputs. There are other variable creation and manipulation tools at the bottom, including more filters, weights, and other variables using code. We cover these in subsequent videos. And finally, don't forget the Q Wiki. The shortcut is under the Help menu. Thank you.